Nero on ETH is the perfect success story for a meme coin. It went up more than 46,000% in the last two and a half months. But is there maybe something that we are missing? Might this rally actually now turn around? Let's have a look at some data that might be a bit worrying. So we are currently at 0.2 cents. And the price chart looks quite impressive. Again, 46,000% since listing on CoinMarketCap on the 2nd of August. Now I didn't make a video on the 2nd of August. I am covering Nero regularly though. And the first video was made four weeks ago when the price was still at 0.08 cents. So it made a multiple X return since then as well. And so was this early, was this not early? I let you be the judge. Feel free to subscribe though. I try to publish videos on meme coins when they're still relatively small. Now let's dive into the data what could potentially be worrisome for Nero on ETH going forward. So we've got 17,000 holders on the Ethereum chain. But when we look at those holders over time, things don't really add up. What we've got on the left is the number of wallets that have at least half a million Nero tokens. So at the current price, that's roughly $1,000 worth of the token. For the chart in the middle, we've got a minimum holding of $10,000. For the chart on the right, a minimum holding of $100,000. Now, all of those charts constantly go down and they start one month ago on the 17th of September. Or have a look at this. This is the number of returning users versus new users. Every single day, there are more returning users than new users so this doesn't really show that the investor base is growing which is actually needed for a price to go up organically even when we don't look at the returning users there's simply not a lot of new buyers every day how can this align with a price appreciation of more than 400 percent in the month when the number of investors is not growing both for retail but also for the whales but the price is still going up there's only one possible explanation and that is one mega whale is accumulating there's one person with a ton of money that's buying everything now maybe it's not a person maybe it's an entity check out the top 100 neuro token holders from the last video four weeks ago binance had 42 percent of the holding have a look at it today now it's 57 have a look at the token balance over time this is increasing now very likely binance is holding the tokens for two reasons right there's on the one hand the custody but there's also market making there's also activity to make money directly with trading and when we look a bit closer at the price action in the last four weeks then we notice something we see how the price appreciation tends to be very very fast so basically shooting up each time when the price goes up and when we don't see such a pump we actually tend to rather decline we tend to see profit taking now let's also have a look at when exactly those price pumps happened it tended to be in the early hours or at least in the first 12 hours at utc plus eight that's the time with the least trading activity in crypto it also happened over here it also happened over here when there's very little trading activity generally during a trading hour but the price suddenly shoots up and there is probably a large player that has interest in the price to be pumped because the price is more sensitive the less liquidity there is and when the order books are thin it doesn't take that much money to move the price up and that's why we see those very rapid increases in the price it looks like binance itself or an entity that uses binance has a strong interest in pushing this up at least for now the number of buyers and sellers over time is pretty balanced even on a day with a lot of trading volume which again indicates that there's a lot of automated trading happening as well and a lot of new buyers come in but at the same time a lot of sellers hit the market as well that's probably automated and so probably nero on eve is now becoming one of the better established meme coins that will stay around for longer when binance holds that much of supply it's unlikely going to crash anytime soon but the upside is also questionable the market cap is currently at 0.8 billion and yes there are meme coins that are larger but we are not going to see a 10x or even a 20x from here even with a 2x we would already be flipping bonk and with a 5x we would be flipping pepe now will that happen i doubt it crypto is all about being early and we try to be early by looking at what other successful traders do and we look at what other influential traders are doing and with our wallet tracking in premium we talked about nero already on the 28th of july there are several nero tokens some of them on solana some of them on ethereum 
The 28th of July was even before the listing on CoinMarketCap. And that's usually how tokens evolve, right? They first get traded directly on DEX screener. They make a lot of gains in the early days. And then afterwards, they get listed on the bigger pages. And so we discuss various altcoin opportunities in dedicated chats in premium. Our first signal was by Crypto Banter, which is a YouTube channel with 1.1 million subscribers. They definitely move markets. And we've got in total 33 wallets by Crypto Banter. In total, we track 421. Besides the wallet tracking, on-chain analytics are of course also very useful. That's why you've got the dedicated tools, one for the Ethereum-based tokens, one for Solana. That's what you have seen during this video. And besides all of that, there are hundreds of other tutorial videos with all kinds of topics, including portfolio management, wallet discovery, etc. So feel free to check it out. It's 100% risk-free. There is a one-week money-back guarantee. So simply just message me within the first week in case you don't like the content. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Video. Looking also forward to seeing you in premium. Cheers!